All right, more often than not, we find ourselves feeling insecure in a lot of situations or lacking self-confidence that we know we should have. And this can be very frustrating, but don't worry because we've got you covered. We have listed five simple body language hacks that can help increase your confidence and help you feel more comfortable in any situation. And why do we do this? Well, because we're cool like that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch me. All right, we should already all know this one by now, but if you don't, first on our list is eye contact eyes. Look, guys, people who don't make eye contact look timid, look shady, and look uncomfortable. Try not to be that guy or girl. Now, avoid staring people down. But be com comfortable holding eye contact when talking. It doesn't mean you should just keep staring at people low before it turns to another thing. Anyways, this will definitely help your self-confidence. I definitely agree with this one. Yep. I think um, Nigerian parents are trying to leave the group chat, but no, we will wow. pin you down. Yes, because I was actually speaking, because like I said, I had the mentorship thing, and then they were talking about networking, and I was saying that, oh, yeah, make eye contact with people when you're talking to them. Like, you, like the eyes are the windows to the soul. They can, you can kind of see if somebody's being genuine with you to an extent. And I don't know, I said, ah, growing up, oh, my parents used to tell me that I should not be looking into somebody's eyes. I'm talking, you are looking in my eyes. That is disrespect. So the thing is, um, it makes children grow up and then now have conversation with people and then they are looking, looking down, in all yeah. other directions yes. and nobody will ever take you seriously. Then you now have to start on learning that to now relearn how to. So please, parents, if you have a child that is confident, that is looking yep. in people's eyes, that is, yes, don't stare. Because there's a difference between when you're just doing... Mm -hmm. And then eye contact and is not flat of eye contact, not blinking eye. Uh -huh. you I understand? don't want to know. So you were saying, uh, you just a look at... Uh, <laughs> Why is this your make, eyebrow? Make, 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 like make, make, make a look you. So you now raise your eyebrow. Right? Eh? Whenever guys do face like they want to take picture. I swear. If, if, if you want to do the LL Cool J way, hey, hey. as she's talking, you just lick your lips again. Hey! No, 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 no. I can remotely see why <laughs> Babe C agree for OJ, but ah. please. Yeah, you are I, I, I can see small. Don't lick your lips, Sha. Please don't let them use eyes and mm -hmm. carry go where you don't know. I beg. Thank okay, you. Okay, the next thing you need to do is quit fidgeting. Mm. Fidgeting is a subconscious cope to make yourself feel better during uncomfortable time. Biting nails, huh. jittering legs, twiddling thumbs. These are all signals that you are anxious. So when you catch yourself doing this, take a breath. Relax and stop fidgeting, okay? Mm. And uh, this one is very true. There are a lot of people that, when they are anxious or uncomfortable, mm -hmm. there are different things they do. Some just start tapping themselves. <laughs> yeah. Some start snapping. Yeah, some start that. looking around. <laughs> some start looking around. And then some, they look for, they, they look for something to focus on. Yeah, and attention. they stare yeah. hard. And that also helps. Because by, but don't stare too much. Uh, okay. If somebody to say that, you have used that to carry them to where they don't know. Hmm. Yeah, so that fidgeting one. Um, so I know that even for autistic um, kids, um, yeah. apparently to calm them down, yep. that's something that they do. So you see some people that they're probably doing something with their fingers. I watched the movie just yesterday, and then they said that when he counts on his fingers, like it makes him comfortable. They spin around on his spots. So <laughs> spinning um, around. Yeah, like you actually spin on his spot that it makes them comfortable. But then I'm saying like as somebody who's like trying to look confident now, like you don't want to come off as you're talking to somebody, you're doing this, mm -hmm. or you be. Oh, the one I hate is with a scratch head. Now we're looking restless. Oh, are you okay? Uh, <laughs> like, restless. you look very not put together. Scratch so idea. try not to fidget. I mean, stand straight. Most times you can just have your hands like this if you're not sure what exactly it is you want to do. And then just see. We have plenty to do. And, and, and let's, let's, let's chip this in. Yes, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Talking amongst your peers yeah. or your family members, mm -hmm. like your brother, sister, can gather them, talk for their presence. If you have a good confidence from there, if you have record yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. just build the confidence. From record there. yourself yeah. or talk in front of a mirror and mm -hmm. see, because that was like, what I used to do. Because I was like, how do I look to people when I'm when doing I'm talking, my? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I'm like, if you watch yourself in the mirror, you can also tell that oh, maybe you have one go-to that you normally do. Yeah. I think my go-to is this. I always feel the need to do that because it, it reminds That's me to true. raise my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So when I'm I see that I'm already slouching and I yeah. go. So that's like my own thing. But then find something that's not weird. Yeah, mm -hmm. practice in your own time. 
All right, next up is to do one of Catherine's favorite things, <laughs> smile. <laughs> yes, as humans, we were hardwired to return smiles, what is different for some people who find it hard to smile. <laughs> that being said, don't smile like a creepy serial killer. <laughs> but when you enter the room, have a happy and relaxed demeanor. This will put others at ease and definitely increase likability. Mm -hmm. So this I went to hand, uh, don't worry, I went to hand over to Lady Cat, queen of the smiling and happy, yes, explain to us. So this one, um, <laughs> smiling actually brightens up people's faces. Yeah. I have realized that some people might be in a bad mood. And then you smile at them and they're like, what's wrong with this one? Then you what's smile and they're like, what's the word? <laughs> and then you come and smile and they have to smile. Even if it's a fake <laughs> smile, yeah. their face has brightened a bit. Yeah, true. And you have done something different. Mm -hmm. yeah, so smiling also helps you as an individual, not just people around you. Because when people look and they see someone with like this, and person smiling, they feel more comfortable talking to the smiling yeah. person. Yeah. And that alone makes you approachable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So smiling really yeah. helps in different so I'll, I'll say, I'll say the queen of this is probably my mom. Mm. Because the, the earliest memory I have of my mother being a confident and very, like, I call her yellow pages because she didn't tell anywhere. She didn't follow anybody talk. The earliest memory I have was in um, school, actually, Queen's College. We went to buy books at the library. And then there was a long queue. So in my mind, I was already like, ah, today we die here because what? And then after a while, somebody just came and called my mom. And then my mom went to talk to the person. And then she came back with the books. Yeah. So apparently she had bought. Wow. And I said, ah, uh -uh, mommy, where, ah, you thief book. <laughs> and I said, no, that the person just said that they liked the way she was smiling. So they attended to her. Aww. So in my mind, I was like... That's a key. And she has like dimples and everything. Ah, so dog of like, Oh, she has cuteness. Uh-uh. So yeah, I feel smiling opens doors for yep. you. I had a friend that didn't used to smile. Like, we'll both go out together. She would just be like... And I'm like, what's the problem? She said, that's how my face is. <laughs> I'm like, are you mad? I want you to me outside. What's that? Is how my face is. <laughs> so she, I, I had to force her. So sometimes we're out. Are we texting on my phone? I say, hello, madam, smile. please. Can you smile? She now look at me. And I'm like, you know? <laughs> so now every time I look at her, she just feels the need to smile. And after a while, she now said, oh, more. I just noticed that people are now talking to me. Yeah. I said, that's exactly why. Okay, so uh, this one is still going back to what Dala does in front of a mirror. Uh -huh. And it is stand up straight. Not that you should check Where are the <laughs> Most men especially have underdeveloped rare shoulders. This is not dissing anyone, but it's been proven. So because of this, they slouch. So try to make it a conscious habit to roll your shoulders back, even if you're a woman and you realize that you slouch. Okay? And this actually helps. Like, just doing like this. Apart from giving you confidence. That kind of shoulder pad. No, apart yeah. from... Uh, why shoulder pad? Apart from giving you confidence when your shoulders are broad, it actually helps with your posture too. Mm -hmm. Because some people, when you do like this all the time, when you're slouching all the time, before you know, you start having back pain. So when you are straight and you're standing tall, you'll be confident. As and I your stand posture will be tall. nice. And you stand oh, tall. No go oh, Jay, no, we oh, said we'll be yeah, serious lady. at the start of this thing. And I but but so yeah, I will, I will say this. Um, this is something that I actually struggled with. That's why I mentally try to do all the time. Because growing up, they told me I had hanger shoulders. What? Yeah. So I have, like, my shoulders are very, mm. like, if I wear suits, are they fine, gone. Hey. But then growing up, they would tell me that I had hanger shoulders. And because I was also tall, I would also always feel Just the need to squeeze myself yeah. and come down, down. to. And I realized that I'll be having back pain. I'll wear cloth here, I'll be slacking and everything. Yeah. So it was just one day, I think it was even my dad that said to me that, ah, you know, you have very fine shoulders. If you wear suits, it will be fine. I was like, eh. And some way, somehow, I just literally yeah. started sitting up. So please, let's try to do that, guys. Like, you look way better. You look more confident doing this so, than doing this. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Very good example. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right. That's why I gave you off shoulder to do so that when I'm <laughs> describing, you people yes. can see the, your sound. The scale. Okay. <laughs> Number five is to fix your voice. Hey, too many people need to know this one. Now, how you say something matters 10 times more than what you say. Let mm. me say it again. How you say something matters 10 times more than what you say. So when speaking, don't mumble. Don't speak fast. Don't be afraid to pause. Mm -hmm. Don't talk from your nose. <laughs> Don't say, um, like, mm -hmm. um, like, mm -hmm. hundred times. And when you try out these hacks, you realize that you will sound and feel more confident. Especially the R don't curl people. Yeah. R don't curl. I think the pause one is very valid because very. You, you can talk and you can pause. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To recalibrate, it's not. Yep. It's not. It's not necessary that you need to go. <laughs> you know, no, 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 no. He's giving designer. Yeah, you yeah. Know, 
Panda, yeah. panda, panda, panda. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can actually pause and continue <laughs> your statements. And yeah, and all those. Um, uh, uh, so, uh, as so I was um, saying, um, her, her I'm like, her. um, I think one day we should do the show and just be on the whole time. You will run it. You, you, <laughs> you will leave. You will leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say the one I definitely struggle with is still um, talking fast because me, by default, my, I'm doing 365 miles per hour. <laughs> but sometimes you still have to pause, okay. calm down so that you yeah. don't trip over your words. And that's that because yeah. of what? Clarity is key. Yeah. All people have learned something, though. Mm -hmm. Plenty. Thank you. Because you meet you outside and I say, hello, Auntie Della. Um, I will just face you. On that note, um, there's a wrap <laughs> on um, eh? Daily Top 5. Um, <laughs> Shoe Syndrome Monday is up next. Oh.